What's up guys, Wade Report here. Twitter is going crazy, and it's all because of NRS creative director, Ed Boone, back up to his regular daily shenanigans. We're gonna talk all about that in today's episode, and we're gonna get started right after this awesome intro. Let's go. What's up guys, Way Report here. I got an exciting episode for you guys today. Welcome back to the channel. Before I get started, let me go ahead and pay these bills. First, I would like to say subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can stay updated with all the latest content. This is your exclusive place for MK content. I also wanna say thank you to these amazing fans, subscribers that you see on the screen. We're heading to 15K. I truly appreciate each and every last one of you. You have no idea how much this means to me. We're going directly to the top. Hands down, no questions asked. This will be the best Mortal Kombat channel you've ever seen. Now, also welcome you new viewers to the Lore of Combat episode 17. Did Ed Boom just give us a hint? Did he tease us? Now, make sure you check out the Data Mind MK Leaks documentary, The Onaga's Return, and The Leak Roster. Onaga's Return is over 60,000, and The Leak Roster is over 68,000, and Data MK Leaks is right behind it. Now, with that being said, we got a lot to get into today. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop some of these tweets up here on your screen in just a second, but quickly, if you're new to this channel, then I highly suggest that you go ahead and subscribe because as mentioned, this will be your number one place for Mortal Kombat content, your daily and exclusive content. I cannot say that enough. So you wanna tune in so that you do not miss out. So you don't miss out, I should say. So let me go ahead and fill you in on what's going on today. So basically over on Twitter, Ed Boone has everybody going crazy because he responded directly to a hint that someone put into a video. This is dealing with the whole Keanu Reeves controversy and what's going on with Mortal Kombat. For those of you that are not familiar and you're just finding this video, yes, Injustice 3 is involved and I'm getting ready to play a video on your screen and I'm gonna play it in full so you can watch it and hear exactly what John Wake said. And then I will be showing you Ed Boone's response. So I know a lot of you probably like, just get to the point, just get to the point. No, there's new viewers watching this video who don't know what the heck is going on. And I have to fill them in so it can paint a story and you do not leave this video confused. So again, without further ado, let's go ahead and play this video. Now, so I'm gonna hit this button here. I'm gonna hit this button over here. Wait, why is this button not working? Is it this one? Oh, oh, sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna hit this button here, hit that button over there, and it's gonna appear on your screen right now. I'll be back after these messages. Smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications while you're waiting. Thank you very much. Fans have been dying for Neo or John Wick to appear in a Mortal Kombat game. <laughs> if it were up to you, would you allow it to happen? If it was up to me, no. Oh. Um, Mortal Kombat is awesome in so many ways. But I think, um, you know, Neo, John Wick, yeah, man, they're doing their own thing. Mortal Kombat's doing their own thing. You know. Okay, as you heard and saw for yourself, you heard what John Wick had to say for himself. Well, I should say Keanu Reeves. And this is where everything starts where Ed Boone responds and he teases Injustice 3 is what he's teasing. Now, this is an MK video, but if you're an Injustice fan, then this replies to you also. So I'm getting ready to put something else here on your screen. This is gonna be Ed Boone's direct response. He knew exactly what he was doing when he was drumming up attention. So he's drumming up attention for Injustice and Mortal Kombat at the same time. And if you go look at his page, you will see a lot of Mortal Kombat stuff. But this right here really got the Injustice fans going crazy on Twitter. I'm telling you that right now. Go look for yourself. Go to Ed Boone's page. You'll see everything you need to see. Now, let me go ahead and uh, just pop this tweet from Ed Boone here up on your page so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. So let me hit this button, hit that button. Uh, sorry, guys, work with me. I'm still trying to make sure I can get this thing to work correctly. Okay. All right. So it's this one right here. I'm going to hit this one. I'm gonna hit that one, 
and it's going to appear on your screen right now voila okay so this is what i'm referring to right here you see it you see right here what ed is clearly saying this here no you're awesome in so many ways the man has spoken but perhaps instead dot 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 question mark that's what he said to the video that i played for you guys earlier responding to what was at the end the injustice part now this went so crazy y'all this went so crazy online to the point where the man had to come out and tell people hey calm down it's a joke it's a joke it's a joke 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 -y. he just basically had to tell people it was a joke because it got so bad it started trending that's how you know people want nether realm games when they start to trend based off the creative director going out of his way to say something now for you injustice fans i really do have hope for you guys now there has been rumors that injustice and mortal kombat will release around about the same time a lot of rumors came out and said that my own source included so that was some very good damning evidence to go with the theories and all of the leaks out there that they will be releasing together. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but it was just a nice little nod to that link. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this other one up here on your screen too, because I want you to see exactly what happened next, right after that. So if you read this tweet here, he said, I should make this clear. This tweet was just for fun, no tease for any kind of announcement why would you want to shoot that down so quickly you get what i'm saying he knows exactly what he's doing no tease for any kind of announcement he's getting people talking about announcement this is how you keep the company booming you bring up stuff and you have people talk about what you think you don't want them to talk about that's almost like saying hey i can't believe somebody stole my car nobody was talking about your car being stolen but now since you bought it up we're all going to talk about it happening you get what i'm saying so this guy is a master manipulator when it comes to social media um, again, as mentioned, he has been tweeting a lot of Mortal Kombat stuff. He's been retweeting a lot of Mortal Kombat stuff. And I just know we got something coming, whether it's going to be at the Video Game Awards or if it's going to be at another event. Now, I am waiting for my source to get back to me with further information. Also, I want to let you know that I will be returning to daily uploads. I've been extremely busy working on some things. So the Lore of Combat and other MK series will be returning and I'm gonna be working on another one hour documentary for you guys regarding the Chosen Ones. And I think that's something you're gonna be interested in, but let's get back on track here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, pop another tweet from Ed Boone up here on your screen because it gets even more juicier. So if you look here closely, on your screen other than my boy hitman getting ready to go in here and do some damage this is what happened yo this is the most exciting thing yet no no this was just for fun no tease not hints just me wishing out loud he knew exactly what it was because look i made a video about it he's drumming up all that attention if you did not want to put yourself in the hot seat then you would not be tweeting and doing these things because you're getting fans expectations to be up and through the roof and when their expectations is up and through the roof you have to play the hero and you have to deliver or you're gonna have to eat your words the same thing happened with melina he kept teasing melina for mk11 he even at one point said that mk that mk11 would not have melina and people was just outraged and what do you know melina ended up being in the game so this is the same tactics that Ed Boon uses over and over and over again. And I'm not going to lie. They seem to work almost every single time. Now we're going to move into more tweets that Ed Boon said. And then we're going to kind of switch the conversation up just a little bit because Boss Logic has entered the chat and tweeted something to Ed Boon, which was extremely good. And I think it's something that's going to take Mortal Kombat to the next franchise level it's going to take the franchise to the next level i should say but let me go ahead and pop this up here on your screen and we're going to dig directly into this right here so if you look closely on this one right here you'll see no you're awesome in so many ways the man said spoken but perhaps instead i showed this already but i wanted to bring it back up the reason i wanted to bring that back up is because as mentioned for the injustice fans 
he never said anything about not being an injustice at all. He said Mortal Kombat. So it could be already determined that Neo is going directly to Injustice 3. It does not matter where Neo or, or John Wick goes. It is definitely going to sell. I could tell you that much. But for those who want Neo, or I should say Keanu Reeves, to be in Mortal Kombat, all hope is not lost. Because if he don't want to be in Mortal Kombat, the video game, to get sliced and diced on under John Wick or under Neo, guess what? He always can play Kenshi in the next Mortal Kombat game or the next Mortal Kombat movie. Now, you know how we had, um, what's her name? Ronda Rousey vs. Sonya? What if we get Ken Kenshi to voice, um, what if we get John Wick to voice Kenshi? I keep saying John Wick, but you know who I mean, Keanu Reeves. I just see him as all of these amazing characters. You get where I'm coming from, right? Cut me some slack. So if we were able to get that, that would be fantastic. What if he actually did the face scan so he can appear as Kenshi, whether it's in the game or in the movie, it would be amazing. Now I'm gonna pop something else here up on your screen also. Don't worry, we're getting through this. I'm gonna show you something else that was tweeted and I'm gonna pop this up here now. So pay close attention to this. Now, bring him on board to play Kenshi, and this was sent by Diddy Hop. Diddy Hop tweeted that to Ed Boon. Ed Boon completely said, I wish. So as you can see, Ed Boon is definitely on board to have Kenshi come on to play, I, I said Kenshi, I'm just fucking all up bad today, y'all. You gotta excuse me. Ed Boon is on board to have Keanu Reeves play Kenshi, whether it's in Mortal Kombat, or whether it's in the game, the game or the movie or the franchise, I should say, because I mean, don't you agree with me? Wouldn't he be the person to be a needle pusher? Just imagine having Keanu Reeves as Kenshi and having John Cena play Striker, and you have a really good person play Kano, uh, not Kano, um, Johnny Cage. That would be a really good blockbuster movie, and I'm pretty sure The Rock would want to get in, get in on some of that action or whatever. You know, just bring in Hollywood's biggest and best to play these characters to turn Mortal Kombat into like a Fast and the Furious franchise. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna drag me in the comments for saying Fast and Furious, whether you like it or not. Friends, Fast and the Furious has a fan base, and they make tons of money. Now. I don't like all of the Fast and the Furious. Uh, Fast and Furious 2 was my favorite because it was down to earth and it was just close to realism. Now they just flying and going out of space and all this other crazy stuff that's going on. So I ain't really into all of that. I've been left the series. So um, now that we got that out of the way, I got one last thing I'm gonna put on your screen here. And this is regarding what we spoke about as far as Keanu Reeves being Kenshi in a upcoming Mortal Kombat. A lot of you probably wondering what he would look like. Well, I'm gonna pop this up here on your screen so you can have an idea of what he would look like as Kenshi. Like he really would kill this role. Give me a second. Here it is right here. Um, Boss Logic said, he basically tweeted this to Ed and see if he can get him to play this person. And he said, he said, no, smiley face. Ed wonders why people always think stuff is a hint because he keep putting smiley faces after everything. LOL, you know where I'm coming from? But that's what Keanu Reeves would look like as Kenshi and he looks like the perfect person to play Kenshi. I'm sure WB is seeing this, everybody is seeing this and I'm sure WB would throw him a bag or whoever's in charge of the Mortal Kombat filming rights. Whoever's in charge of the Mortal Kombat filming rights would be missing a bag if they don't get Keanu Reeves or make him an offer to be in the next Mortal Kombat movie or make him an offer to have his own skin and voice in the game like they did for that DJ who was the version of Sub-Zero that we did not like. He was looking in a mirror, the one with the bad acting. So yeah, I just wanted to make this quick fun video for you guys and I wanted to pass this question off to you guys in the comments section below. Do you think Keanu Reeves will appear in Mortal Kombat 12 as Kenshi. Wouldn't that be a nice plot twist? Like he's not playing Neo, he's not playing John Wick, but he's playing Kenshi. That would make so much sense. He never said he didn't want to be in Mortal Kombat. He said John Wick 
and Neo would not fit in Mortal Kombat, but he never said he would never play a Mortal Kombat character. So I know this sounds like speculation. That's what it is. It's a nice, fun, speculative video other than the facts that I showed you. And I thought it would be kind of cool to bring this to your attention. So that's all I have to bring to your attention at this point. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys finish watching out the rest of this video. And I will see you wonderful people later. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications as this is your favorite number one source for daily exclusive Mortal Kombat content. I'm out. What's up guys thanks for watching be sure to check out some of these awesome videos you see here on your screen and we will catch you in the next one thanks for watching peace out